The Saga Arts Council, Bodan. I'm not going to present your last name because I have no idea how to pronounce it. <laughs> Brian Crombie, Vice President, and Linda Thomas, Executive Director, will share Mac new strategic direction, 213 accomplishment, and provide information on Mac's annual gala event. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much, Your Worship. Uh, good morning, Council. Uh, my name is Bogdan Shulekevich. Uh, it rolls off the tongue quite easily, actually, for me at least. Um, I am the president of the Mississauga Arts Council. I'm here today with our executive director, Linda Thomas, who will be doing a portion of the, uh, large portion of the presentation, and of course, our vice president, uh, Brian Crombie, uh, who's right behind me in the uh, first row. Uh, we thank you for this opportunity to be able to present on behalf of the Mississauga Arts Council. Uh, we are the largest umbrella organization for the arts in the city of Mississauga. Um, we this year have initiated a new strategic plan to increase our reach to uh, the various parts of the city and to the various communities in the city uh, by collaborating as well with the culture division in this regard so that we can expand uh, the arts and culture within the city of Mississauga. Our credo in this regard is, is essentially that a great city requires a, a vibrant uh, cultural and artistic community in order for it to have a certain lifestyle and to be able to attract individuals to the city. So uh, in 2013, we initiated the strategic plan, and Linda Thomas now is going to be introducing some of the components of the strategic plan. Thank you. Madam Mayor and Councillors, thank you. Um, I'm going to get right into it. Um, uh, Bodan has already talked about uh, uh, why we did this. And um, essentially, um, the process was guided by myself and a subgroup of the board. Um, we were fortunate to receive a grant from the Ministry of Culture's partnership program that allowed us to actually hire expert uh, consulting company to work with us through this process. Um, we did uh, interviews, we had uh, state key stakeholders, focus groups, we gathered feedback from various cultural uh, stakeholders, not only internally within Mississauga, but externally as well for best practices. There was a thorough document review, and um, we certainly had um, a number of actually half-day sessions with the board and staff to, to work through the process. Um, it was a seven-step methodology that we did over a nine-month period in 2012, and um, it culminated in um, our new vision. Mississauga is a vibrant, creative, cultural community where arts and culture thrive. And to be able to do that, our mission now states that we engage, connect, and champion artists of all disciplines, ages, and abilities um, from the diverse communities to develop arts and culture in Mississauga. We facilitate partnerships, collaborations, competition among our artists and organizations to strengthen the community and create a vibrant uh, city. Um, it was very important for us to establish our core values, and we've done that. Uh, there were six of them that came out very loud and strong passion, collaboration, innovation, sustainability, uh, integrity, and inclusiveness was very important to all involved. And to be able to take these um, priorities, uh, or at least we, we developed strategic priorities that would help us work through the next number of years. There are seven of them all together, um, engage, promote, and develop artists of all ages, disciplines, and cultures and abilities. Um, we're going to proactively strengthen the relationship between the diverse communities, which we actually closely work with right now. Um, establish priority areas for community programming and increase the depth of their impact. Um, and engage a strategic decision making and evaluation process that guide, focus, and streamline our progress, programs and services. Certainly, we'll continue our advocacy function and um, will align with the city's cultural initiatives and other arts and cultural organizations to rationalize and strengthen the service delivery within Mississauga. And we will strengthen existing partnerships and build new ones um, with community organization, cultural service providers, and business. And I just want to, um, we do this through str these strategic priorities. Um, I just want to give you a little brief um, update on what we've been doing over 2013 because we've started to implement the program. We've organized 121 events, workshops, and exhibits in 2013. 
approximately 76,000 attendees, 100 collaborations on 27 programs. We have a mentorship program for our youth with established artists. We have six magazines, of which I just picked it up yesterday, you have in front of you. Um, our latest magazine, we had 13 workshops, we had the Martys, we launched our new website, so please check it out, MississaugaArtsCouncil.com. We just launched it last week. 18 open mics. And uh, Madam Mayor, you'd be pleased to know that we were able to obtain funding from the Community Foundation for the Partnership in Music program, which you actually encouraged the Choral Society at their luncheon to create. We had a media summit, and we had, and we've been programming in six wards, and we want to engage the other wards um, next year. And I don't know, um, but Dan, if you want to speak to the, oh, gala, the gala that's coming up. Of course. Uh, of course, we have our gala on this Friday, November 22nd. It will have a uh, carnival arts meet, it's called, and it ha will have a Latin theme to it. Uh, there's going to be entertainment, silent auction, live auction. Uh, we are hoping to have at least 200 people attend, and I would like to see more councillors attend. Uh, so far, we've got at least two or three coming, but I would very dearly love to see the council members at the gala to see the Mississauga Arts Council in action and to see the kind of crowds that we can attract to this venue and the kind of entertainment and the great Mississauga artists that we have available in the city. Thank, Thank you. you. For your viewing pleasure. <laughs> oh. I'm finished. Oh, we're done. Yeah, we're sorry, done. we're done. <laughs> well, okay. congratulations on just a fantastic uh, program that you have instituted. Uh, I'm very impressed with the progress that the Arts Council has made. I think you've, uh, as a result of the Mayor's Task Force and the Arts, which uh, certainly, uh, and the uh, consultant we hired, the Arts Council got a real push forward as a major contributor to developing the arts in Mississauga. I really believe it had a lot to do with giving you the status that that you needed in order to fulfill your your vision and your goals and objectives. So, and uh, I'm, I was at your gala last year, and it was very effective. So, mm -hmm. Councillor uh, Crombie, thank you, Madam Mayor, and welcome, Don. Welcome, Linda. <clears throat> I just wanted to congratulate you both on the new vision that you're taking and the new approach and just wondering if everything's working out with respect to collaborating with the Office of the Arts. As you know, I was on that task force and we uh, recommended structuring the Office of the Arts and, and how, how effective has it been? Are you able to work collaboratively with them without overlap, et cetera? We, in fact, when we set out the strategic plan, we had in mind uh, not to ensure that we do not overlap with any other organizations. We also have uh, regular meetings. I have regular meetings, for example, with Susan Burt at least four times a year that we get together with Culture Division to see where we can collaborate, uh, how we can help one another. So this interaction with that, with Culture Division, is extraordinarily helpful. As well, the Mississauga Arts Council also initiated uh, interactions with the Art Gallery of Mississauga and other organizations within the city so that, in that we believe that to grow the arts in the city, you need the collaboration right. and participation of everybody in All order to help make this a great city. You know, our view is very simple. It's, we are a very young city. We're a city of about 30, 40 years of age. It's taken 30 to 40 years for us to build up the infrastructure that we have today. Now it is time for culture and the arts to take that over and create the glue that will bind all of these various communities together and to give us a history into the 21st century. Mm -hmm. That is what we are going to try to do at MAC and hopefully with the participation of the other arts organizations in the city. Very well said, and I thank you. I look forward to your gala, your fundraiser on Friday evening thank with you. great anticipation. I think it will be a great event with the Latin theme and encourage everyone to attend. Um, I was just wanted to point out something obvious, though, and I don't know if you'd ever considered it, but we had a gala for the arts last weekend in honor of the mayor at the LAC, and is it possible to work collaboratively so we have one gala instead of two galas for the arts and they're not a week apart? Well, we're, we would certainly be open to any discussions uh, with not, any, not uh, to put the folks party. at LAC on the spot at all. But oh, no, no. I'm, you're not putting them on the spot or us on the spot for that matter. But, uh, you know, we always like to talk. I'm a lawyer. We like to talk. <laughs> we like to talk better when we word, get paid, actually, but still. <laughs> it might be a good idea, rather than two galas for the arts within a week of each other, than to have one or one bigger, one bigger, better. Yeah. Anyways, I'll leave that to you guys to work out, but congratulations. Thank you very much. Friday.
Councillor Fonseca. Thank you, Madam Mayor, and thank you very much for the presentation. I just wanted to uh, point out, and flipping through the uh, what you've left with us here, um, the uh, the age range of the people that are at the open mics and different opportunities that you've provided. There's so many different opportunities for for uh, people of all ages, and uh, to congratulate you on the mentoring program. You know, when you watch young kids, um, if you just let them do their own thing. Um, they're so creative right from a very young age and they're always exploring and looking for different ways to uh, create art or be art. So I think it's wonderful that you've provided a number of different initiatives and the mentoring program as, as people uh, uh, get older and start to explore art in different ways, I think you've, you've uh, encouraged and implemented many supports for young artists to uh, be able to thrive, whether they choose that as a a long-term career path or whether they just want to uh, do it as a hobby or a work with others uh, on different uh, different avenues of art. I think it's it's wonderful you've provided that opportunity. And also I was going to emphasize what Councillor Crombie has already said. I think collaboration is extremely important and uh, definitely we have, there's many opportunities throughout Mississauga to um, expand our cultural experience and it is integral to um, the livability of our city. So anything that can be done on that and for collaboration I think is imp extremely important. So congratulations. I just want to add to something that what Councillor Fonseca has said. We are particularly proud of our Limelight program, which yes. is the youth program. We started this off really about two years ago with staff putting together this, this, this pamphlet that you now see in front of you. The way we view the Limelight program, we're not going to see the returns within a year or two. We're going to see, this city is going to see the returns of what we've done with Limelight in maybe four or five years because that's what we think is going to be the timeline for some of these children who are involved in these arts programs to start reaching a level of maturity that others will begin to notice. And then the idea is going to be to hopefully have them stay in Mississauga and use Mississauga as their art and cultural nexus and not to make them go away to somewhere else. That's, that's hopefully what we're going to try to achieve over the next uh, four or five years. Councillor Udeka. Thank you. Well, just briefly, because I think Bodan makes a great point. Um, in, in some of the years that us have been around trying to support the arts, I think you've hit the key on the head when you say infrastructure. We're a relatively young city, but one of the quandaries we run into is we, we sort of keep our light under a bushel. People just don't realize the assets that we have. Just recently, we had another charity event at the Hershey Center. I was sponsoring a group of people. The number of people, once you get them in there and get the bums in the seats and never been there and go, wow, we have this? Yeah, 15 minutes from your home, no parking, and for 60 bucks, your family gets to watch a game. The Living Arts Center, when people go and see it and you actually get the bums in the seats, it's wow. Uh, Councillor Dale and I just recently were talking with some ratepayer groups with regards to, well, you know, what's the green space in the downtown court? Well, from Katia Park to Riverwood, what? Katia yeah. Park to Riverwood. And then you have, oh, wow. Well, we have got to, by the way, the sports zone at Hershey, and I want to thank the commissioner. Yeah. I mentioned it before, I'm going to say it again. Further discussions when the likes of FC Barcelona comes and says, wow, we, we found you from Spain, we found you here, and you may have the preeminent facilities in North America for what they, oh, we, we have to do a far better, we, we've invested in the bricks in the mortar. And I apologize if I'm not passionate because I'm getting finicky up listening to my echo, so I can imagine how everybody else feels. We've got to start investing in the bums in the seats. We've got to start paying for performances. We've got to start bringing people out that have never come out and say, just once, can we ignite something here? Because the big dollars, and our friends from Lacquer come, we've spent it. We have tremendous infrastructure for a city of our size. Mm -hmm. Now we have to invest in the real, because I think once we've caught them, we've got them. And another point, uh, Brian's here, with regards to infrastructure and transit and all of the problems, mm -hmm. those play to our advantage. You don't have to go to downtown Toronto and pay more in parking than a pair of tickets would cost for an event here. Come and explore and enjoy Mississauga. Down to our waterfront, that seems to be a bit of a surprise to some people as well. We have a story to tell, and so I conclude with the infrastructure, the bricks and the mortar, the intellectual, we have it all, and the performers. We've got to let people know, yeah. and see, so just come out once. And here's a two-for-one ticket. We have to, per capita funding relative to, we've all been over it. 
we are just at the precipice of a renaissance in the arts. Yeah. So I commend you for acknowledging just that with infrastructure. We have it. Let's use it. Yeah. Thank you. The, uh, just as a right of reply, um, the, um, we, to, to your point, Councillor Yanika, two points. Number one, yes, we are a young city, but being a young city, it gives us certain advantages Absolutely. of flexibility, which other cities that I dare not speak its name may not have, for example. Uh, secondly, uh, in terms of getting bums in the seats, in 2012, the Mississauga Arts Council uh, was approached by the Jamaican community, by members of the Jamaican community, to bring to Mississauga the um, Jamaica 50th Anniversary um, Art Exhibition, which we collaborated with the Art Gallery of Mississauga, which staged it and did a masterful job of it in August of 2012. This brought an entire demographic to the city that did not know, first of all, that the arts existed here in this way, that culture existed in this way. But it's not just one demographic that you want to bring. In one of the previous presentations from the GTAA, you saw all the various ethnic communities that would be coming into the city, many of which are representative within our city. Missaga Arts Council sees it as colorblind. We want to tap those communities, but not to tap them from a uh, point of view of just an ethnic community. We want to engage whatever artistic uh, presence that they bring to the city and engage them and bring them into the arts within the city. That's what we're trying to do. We do not want to create a stratification of various ethnic groups. If you're Polish, you may not go to an Indian thing. If you're Indian, you're not gonna go to, we don't want that. We want to have everyone participate equally. And that's the beauty of our city that we can achieve. Well said, thank you. Yeah, well, all we need is the press in Toronto to recognize, like Mr. Hume says, we're swampland out here. We don't have the any facilities, I'm sorry. Apparently. <laughs> That's something we're up against as well. Uh, Councillor Starr. Yeah, I just want to uh, congratulate both of you. I, I know the, the work you do and all the, all the functions you, you attend. And I think it's, it is that collaboration and it's that cooperation, uh, you know, between uh, VAM and AGM and all the other cultural groups, by the way, that are out there. And I'm glad you mentioned uh, that, you know, the Jamaican uh, presentation and the Indian and, you know, we're bringing everything together. And I think uh, uh, to a large part that's uh, due to you folks uh, with the vision that you have. I know that you and I chatted about yes. the limelight and yes. uh, when we said, well, here's an idea we have. Fantastic, because you have to bring the young people in and that's going to be your base for the next 20, 30, 50 years. And uh, you're doing a great job with that. Uh, I know that I've talked to several parents that are participating, and your list of members keeps growing, and your sponsors keep growing. So all I can say is, uh, you know, no speeches, but great job you're doing. Keep it up, and whatever we can do, uh, we'll help you. Thank you very much. Well, I think uh, Bodan has been one of the most active chairmen yep. of the Arts Council. I have to tell you, I, feel, I find that he has a vision, and uh, I, I think. It's moved ahead considerably under yes. your leadership. Yes. So I want to congratulate you. And I think the coordination, again, of the arts uh, is very important with the Living Arts Center, mm -hmm. et cetera, and with our other facilities. But as you say, we're just a young city. And I remember just a few years ago that the arts was all over the place in Mississauga, yep. all over the place. So it's coming together. And I think the task force had a lot to do that. Yeah and then the hiring of a consultant that put it together. And we now have a cultural division as well. Mm -hmm. Our heritage, our culture, and our arts is coming together, mm -hmm. the three of them. And I think it's just fantastic. So, Councillor Cromley. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I did think of one more thing, and I'm happy to move the deputation as well. Um, with respect to your, your collaboration with the LAC, when you host events or you put on shows and programs, do you work together with them for ticket sales and for marketing and promotional? And are you, are you able to do that? Oh, absolutely. There'd be a lot of synergies. There, no, no, absolutely, think. absolutely. Okay. We work together and. Um, uh, we hold our board meetings at the Living Arts Center, Perfect. which is wonderful, and um, and we certainly market. We market their programs. They market Excellent. ours when we hold them um, at the Living Arts Center. And uh, yeah, we we have a great We're, relationship, we Ron and I. We can reinforce <laughs> more so as we all each said that we need the arts to all work together mm -hmm. in the community with yourselves and the art gallery and LAC. Absolutely, thank you. And of course, the culture division. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank keep you. up the good work. <laughs>